Building the Future, America's Construction Industry at Work. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. And consider subscribing to our channel and hit the notification bell below. Can you predict the future? What will happen to the world? Have you thought of what will happen to America's future? Do not fear because America's got its back. America has already planned its future and is moving fast towards it with top talents, technology, architecture, and whatnot. Let's peek into America's constructions, such as Skyscraper on Brick Hill Avenue, Hudson Yard in New York, the Gateway Program in New York, the Union Station in Chicago, Wilshire Grand Center in Los Angeles, Miami Central Station, and Brightland Miami Central. Aren't you curious about what they'll turn out to be? Number 7. Skyscraper on Brickell Avenue, Miami The panorama towers touching the skies of Miami, Florida in the Brickell District, downtown Miami. The panorama tower is an 85-story building with a height of 265 meters and a floor area of 2.6 million square feet. In 2007, the Great Recession put the tower's construction on hold. But fortunately, it started construction in 2014, and the panorama tower was gifted to the world in 2018. Tibor Holo is the site's owner, and with his invitation, this beautiful piece of architecture was designed by AIA architect Mosh Kosasher. The interior design was done by Zizasevic Architecture. The panorama tower was intended as a multi-use building, including a residential, hotel, office, and retail spaces funded by EB-5 visas, and the estimated project cost was $800 million. The Panorama Tower is closer to the 10th Street Metro Moyer Station. The Panorama Tower has unique features in a 24-7 attended grand lobby, built-in media package, cardio room with over 100 machines, dry cleaners, expensive private balconies, hurricane-resistant glass, large pool and sun deck area, movie theater, and so on. Furthermore, this tower provides a beautiful view of Biscayne Bay. The building allows the residents and guests to have a wonderful experience on street-level boutiques, restaurants, entertainment venues, bars and clubs, as well as a Hyatt-centric hotel. Visit Panorama Tower and gain a world-class experience, folks! Number 6. The Hudson Yards Development, New York The Hudson Yard is considered the most extensive development in real estate in America's history. The Hudson Yard will cover an area of 28 acres on the west side of Manhattan, New York, between Chelsea and Hell's Kitchen's neighborhoods. Hudson Yard will transform the whole community into a glamorous space with multiple uses enhancing the area's relaxed vibe. The yard will have shops, restaurants, cultural centers, office premises, public spaces, power generation plants, and many other facilities. The Hudson Yard is built on two platforms above the Long Island Railroad. The yard is set to be completed in two phases. The first phase had a public green space with multiple buildings containing a hotel, residences, a mall, and a cultural center named The Shed, which was completed in 2019. Phase 2 completion will give more residences, office buildings, and a school. Oxford, related companies, and some other investors have invested in this. Investors had made investments through the EB-5 investment program as well. The whole project cost $25 billion after completion. Cohn Peterson, Fox architectural firm, designed the site, and many other architects shared designs and visual structures. The main tenants of the office buildings are Tapestry, a fashion company, BCG, a consulting firm, the New York Bureau for CNN, and Sidewalk Labs, an urban planning organization. The Hudson Yard includes several buildings and structures, 10 Hudson Yards, a 52-storied office building 273 meters tall, 15 Hudson Yards, a residential building connecting to the shed, the shed itself, which is a three-storied building which acts as an art center, 30 Hudson Yards, a 103-story building with a height of 387 meters at 35 Hudson Yards, a building with a hotel, retail spaces, gym, and medical office, 50 Hudson Yards, 308-meter-tall building as BlackRock and Facebook as tenants, 55 Hudson Yards, 240-meter-tall building with law firms and American cryptocurrency trading platforms, shops, restaurants, a public plaza are some of them. Number 5. The Gateway Program, New York City The Gateway Program is a project of $16 billion that marks the renovation of the Northeast Corridor rail line, and it will bring new hope for thousands of passengers who commute by train daily to New York. 
The Gateway Project focuses on a segment of 10 miles in the NEC and will reinstate the rail infrastructure facilities. The passengers had suffered from flooding, wearing, and tearing off old bridges and many earlier. But thanks to this Gateway program, they will have the chance to experience a new two-track train tunnel under the Hudson River. The construction will start in 2023 and is estimated to be completed by 2035. This project may contain a tunnel between Bergen Palisades in New Jersey and Manhattan, a tunnel below Hudson Yard, and redevelopment of the North River Tunnel. This project will also replace the old portal bridge in this project, allowing the passage of boats underneath. This project will immensely reduce greenhouse gas emissions as well. Amtrak and New Jersey Transit Rail operations use existing rail tracks, which go up to a capacity of 24 trains per hour. But the renovation of rail tracks will increase the capacity of trains. This project will generate thousands of job opportunities. Hello there, New Yorkers. Isn't it good news for you? Number 4. The Union Station Master Plan, Chicago The Union Station Master Plan will transform the Chicago Union Station into a modernized transportation hub. The Union Station is the third busiest train station in American Amtrak. Chicago Department of Transportation, Metra, and the Regional Transportation Authority, along with stakeholders and the public, this master plan was developed, including transportation improvements and providing surrounding development around the station. This development project will add tracks, platforms, and ways of developing passenger management inside the station. The constructors will complete this project in three phases, where the head house of the Union Station gains the full attention in the first phase. Under that, shops, food halls, offices, and hotel rooms in vacant spaces. Eventually, it will add more residential structures to the building's roof. Phase 2 will replace an old parking slot located south of the station with two office buildings. Phase 3 will focus on building more residential facilities and a retail component east of the station. This project will cost more than an estimated value of $1 billion, and this project will take 5 to 10 years to complete. Number 3. The Wilshire Grand Center of Los Angeles The Wilshire Grand Center, or the Wilshire Grand Tower, is situated in the Financial District of Los Angeles, California. It's a multi-use building including a hotel, restaurants, retail offices, and an observatory. And this building has 73 floors with a height of 335 meters. The building covers a floor area of around 1.5 million square feet. The Wilshire Grand Center is the first LA skyscraper without a flat roof. After its completion in 2017, it's considered the tallest building in West Chicago and the 15th in America. Hanjin Group, a South Korean conglomerate, owns this marvelous structure. AC Martin Partners designed the Wilshire Grand Center with some unique features. The windows of the Wilshire Grand Center shimmer in the daytime and illuminate at night. This project cost $1.2 billion. Number 2. Miami Central Station Miami Central Station is a Brightline station located in downtown Miami. It will provide services to West Palm Beach and so beyond in future. The station covers an area of 9 acres and is a multi-use building containing office premises, residential space, and commercial and retail locations. Due to proximity, the Miami Central Station is connected with Metro Rail and Metro Mover. All Abroad Florida, a Florida East Coast Industry subsidiary, built the station, and the design was made by Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill, along with Vyskovich Architects. The preparatory work of Miami Central Station began in 2014 by removing the existing old parking lot. Miami Central Station is built with an elevation of 50 feet in the air to avoid any interference with the street below. Number 1. Brightline Miami Central Brightline Miami Central is an eco-friendly, high-speed train running through Miami, Florida. It first started between Fort Lauderdale and West Palm Beach and spread to downtown Miami. With direct service to Miami and connections via Brightline Plus and local transits, it gives you a comfortable train experience. Brightline trains may give you a fantastic ride through Florida if you're a traveler. Brightline offers door-to-door -door services through Brightline Plus. Brightline trains take you to places of attraction such as the Miami Children's Museum, France Science Museum, the Freedom Tower, and beyond. And it has many connections with Metro Rail, Metro Bus, Metro Mover, and Metro Trolley. The station spreads between Little Havana, Overton, Brickell, Edgewater, 
Midtown, and Wynwood. During your journey via Brightline, you may be supplied with food and beverages by an attendant passing by with a roving cart. Their customer service is next level. The Brightline trains are expanding their territories, and the tracks which connect West Palm Beach and Orlando are in progress. So these constructions show only a tiny bit of the advancement in America's buildings. Don't be amazed if you know anything new on their construction list. That's how they attract the world and confirm that they're the best. Cheers to America's long-term success in making the world amazed.